Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss how scientists are now planning to grow ice and refreeze the Arctic Sea. An innovative way is being created by scientists which will help them in growing ice and doing the impossible job of refreezing the Arctic Sea as initial tests prove promising. Scientists are aiming at pumping seawater over the frozen Arctic Ocean. They have carried out trials in the Canadian Arctic, which have seen sea ice getting thickened successfully. According to a report published in New Scientist, if no action is taken right now, the accelerating climate change will make the Arctic ice-free in the summer in the 2030s, which will be disastrous for the planet. According to other reports, even if measures are adopted, like sharply reducing greenhouse gas emissions, it won't stop the Arctic from turning ice-free. Every decade, the Arctic Ocean is losing nearly 13% of its ice. To stop this drastic climate change impact, there would be a need to dramatically reduce the emissions worldwide, because of which scientists have been finding ways to curb this in a short duration. Amongst the ways being explored, scientists are considering pumping seawater in parts of the frozen Arctic Ocean, which they believe would be effective. Is pumping seawater in the Arctic a good decision? The plan is very straightforward. Pumps will be used by the engineers to cover ice with seawater, which is expected to freeze in winter and thicken the ice layer. This will ensure that the ice lasts longer during the summer. To do this, scientists are finding a layer of thin ice, punching a hole into the surface from below and flooding it with the hope that it will accelerate the speed of natural freezing. The process has already been tested before, but it was for the first time done successfully with hydrogen, which is a renewable energy. The tests have also been successful on a smaller scale. According to a report published in New Scientist, there could be the risk of unintended consequences, like reduced snow cover negatively impacting wildlife. Speaking to The Guardian, Hayo Hendrixer, assistant professor at Delft University of Technology, said that this is not a solution, but a sticking plaster which could be used on a smaller scale. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.